the first step would be changing the setting of our project adding a connection string it is fairly simple to add a new connection string you just need to select your web role and then select properties settings and here you can add a setting enter a name for a connection string and then here select connection string to start a wizard you can use in order to create the connection string the important part is eventually eventually uh, we get a um, connection string we can use once the connection string to the um, data on um, the Azure platform is configured is ready then we can define the um, data layer class we are going to use um, here I pass over the name of the connection string and then um, get uh, the connection string as a string so I could use it uh, passing it over to the parse method uh, a method I can invoke using cloud storage account uh, I can get in return a cloud storage account object that represents the storage account I want to use then invoking on that cloud storage account object the method create cloud table client I get an object that represents a table in general so I could invoke on that object the method get data service context and on the returned object invoke create query and pass over the name of the table on the Azure platform I want to query the result of uh, referring the bank account table static property uh, the returned value is an I queryable object we can uh, iterate and this is exactly what happens here in the code behind of default.aspx I chose to delete the code what that was in this uh, specific file and change the um, the code behind just for the sake of getting a simple code you can follow so I get an iQueryable object that its um, um, elements are of the bank account type and that's why I can iterate it and access each one of the properties I define in the bank account class make sure the names of those properties are identical to the um, names you use uh, when creating the entity executing this code sample this is the output